वेलकम बैक टू सिविल इंजीनियर्स यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल गाइड यू अबाउट डिजाइन क्राइटेरिया फॉर स्टेयर केस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बेल्ट यूर हाउस सो यू शुड नो अबाउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्राइटेरिया टू कंस्ट्रक्ट स्टेयर केस इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन दिस चैनल सो यू मे सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल सो यू मे लाइक दिस वीडियो बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फॉर यू पीपल टू गेट Uh, some new information related design criteria for steer case the first one is width of steer remember guys the width of steer should be sufficient for two person to pass on it and for furniture and other things to be carried up and down the steer it means the width of the steer should be sufficient and two person should be pass on it for furniture and other things to be carried up and down if you if it is not allow for two person it means it can't work for you so therefore the width should be sufficient especially for two person to pass on it okay next the minimum width of the staircase should not be less than 80 cm or you can say 0.8 m or normally you can say 2 feet and 8 inches in any case it should not be less than 80 cm the next one for residential building width should be at least 90 cm or 0.9 m or 0.9 m it should not be less than this or you can say or 3 feet for normal residential building for residential buildings width should be at least 90 cm next one for public building should be between 1.5 to 1.8 m this should be the width of the staircase otherwise you will face more problems in the construction of any building but this is for public building should be between 1.5 to 1.8 you can say this is a kind of residential building the next one is guys here if the width is more than 1.8 m if the width of staircase suppose this is width of staircase if the width of staircase is more than 1.8 m so remember here central okay so central handrail should be provided okay so the central handrail should be provided here here that's why because you can use it on both sides if you are going to the first floor our second floor etc the next one is guys that is number of riser so when you want to find the number of riser so total height of the floor or total height of the uh, floor to the roof okay divide by height of riser it means suppose height of the floor is 3.2 m this is height of floor h and the riser is suppose 0.15 m so say 3.2 meter divided by 0.15 then you will get the number of risers next number of trade is in flight okay to find number of trades in flight so what you can do there so the number of risers minus 1 it means when you get any value here so just subtract or minus 1 then you will get the number of trades so guys this is a short video before starting staircase construction so you should know about these things which we have discussed in this short video thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye